Wow. Good afternoon. Madam Rajavi, and to all of these fabulous leaders that you have here in the audience and on the stage. I'm here, I don't know whether this is my 10th time or my 12th time, but every time I leave even more inspired by the leadership of Madam Rajavi and her whole team. Their dedication and commitment is unbelievable. When I watched that video of the young women, it reduced me to tears, and I'm sure it reduced many of you to tears. We have an obligation of citizens of the world to have a safe world, and Iran poses a very distinct opposition to that. Those young women on that video don't ask for anything else but a chance to be free and to be proud of their country and to live a free and democratic Iran. That's all they want. And it calls upon us as leaders, as members of parliament, to do that. But it also calls on each and every one of you in this audience and anyone that is watching, and I know there are many, to not sit there, to take your responsibilities as members of this world that we live in, to talk about what is going on in Iran. Iran, in my opinion, is behind everything going on in the Middle East and what is going on in the Ukraine. Iran is delivering the instruments of war, and they are trying to distort public opinion and get people looking somewhere else not looking at Iran, go look everywhere else. Well, Iran does all of this terrible stuff to try to get people to forget about them when they are the source. And until Iran is free and democratic and has opportunities for everyone else, they're gonna to continue to mess around in other people's lives. So I behold all of you, don't just enjoy today and say, Madam Rajave and NCRI and all the wonderful team you have are great people. That's terrific. We've heard wonderful speeches, inspirational speeches from everyone, but it takes many, many more people than is in this room. It takes all of us to talk to our friends and talk to our neighbors and tell them to pay attention to what's going to Iran, and we've got to hold Iran accountable. It cannot continue to get away with what it does. I want... Uh, but I'm here with the love for all of you. Uh, we will continue as a country, as Canada, but we need all of you, as I said, to be louder, louder, louder voices. It calls on all of us as parliamentarians to have louder voices, but also the rest of the world. And I must share a little bit of a political message with you that Canada continues to seize the assets of many people who have been tied to the IRGC in Canada. They, they seize the assets and then they are deported. And the next step that I am told that Canada is going to take, hallelujah God, you're there. They're going to hit, IRGC is going to be named a terrorist organization in the very near future. So as I stand together with my colleague, Canada is with you, the world is with you, but we've got to really be with you, which means we really got to do some of this work too. And we can't just leave it up to Madame Rajavi and her team and think we're just going to be there to enjoy a free and democratic Iran. It's going to take every single person sitting in a chair in this room, sitting up there. You all, we all, have a responsibility, and until we have a free and democratic Iran, none of us should be at peace, because that affects our whole world and our lives and our children and grandchildren. God bless all of you, and thank you for the invitation to be here.